A judge in Quebec ruled today that Montreal-based construction firm SNC-Lavalin will stand trial on fraud and corruption charges. It's a saga that's thrown the federal government into turmoil and also led to the resignation of MP Jody Wilson-Raybould from Cabinet. CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier has more on the political fallout. In a written statement, company president and CEO Neil Bruce said he expected this outcome. SNC-Lavalin is a completely transformed company, he said in a statement. These charges relate to alleged wrongdoings that took place 7 to 20 years ago by certain former employees who left the company long ago. And we are pursuing those who committed the wrongdoings. The SNC-Lavalin affair is the biggest political scandal the Trudeau government has had to face. Former Justice Minister Joe Jody Wilson-Raybould accused the Prime Minister, his top advisors, and the clerk of the Privy Council of pressuring her into sparing the Quebec engineering giant a trial with a deferred prosecution, which she refused to do. We respect the independence of our judiciary and we're not going to comment on an ongoing court case. Justin Trudeau always maintained he wanted to spare SNC-Lavalin a trial to save the thousands of jobs that would be threatened if the company was found guilty. The Montreal-based company is accused of paying over 45 $5 million in bribes to officials in Libya between 2001 and 2011. It also faces charges of fraud and corruption for allegedly defrauding various Libyan organizations. Bonjour. A deferred prosecution, or DPA, is something Ottawa is still considering to spare the company the heavy cost of a guilty verdict and the loss of government contracts in Canada and abroad. As I've said before uh, about DPAs, um, they are a legal possibility. In either case, the issue will continue to dog the Prime Minister and further erode the already tarnished reputation of the company. Joyce Napier, CTV News, Ottawa. And a trial date for SNC-Lavalin will be set next week and the company says it may still decide to appeal today's decision.